Van Dahl, Steve here. And Larson. And welcome back to Going In Rod Daily. Everybody say hi to Larson over there at the news desk. Hi. Hey, hey. So, uh, man, what's going on with NXT? This is like my favorite programming in pro wrestling right now, NXT. What are they doing to dick with it, Larson? Uh, seemingly quite a bit, maybe. I don't know. Oh, uh, but uh, last night, uh, during or after the uh, uh, filming of Raw from Atlanta, Georgia, WWE announced that three... NXT shows will be happening in Atlanta on January 4th, as well as February 1st and 2nd. And immediately, there was talk that these shows would in fact be TV tapings. And then, this morning, I think, WWE confirmed that. Yeah. They are in fact... TV tapings. TV tapings. Oh. Taking place at Atlanta's Center Stage Theater, which used to be home to WCW Saturday night. I mean, that's a good move. Who doesn't love WCW Saturday night? I think that was the first WCW show I ever actually saw. Oh, really? Yeah. Might have been mine, too. A little bit of Steve history there for you. Yes. Um, I guess that theater has been used in the past for NXT live events, but now it's going to be home to three TV tapings. So, so yeah, that begs a huge question. A Larson. lot of questions, in yeah. fact, because uh, beyond a brief statement, which confirmed that these are TV tapings, WWE has said nothing about uh, what the future of NXT TV tapings hold. So is this like a harbinger? of things to come for NXT. They're going to start taping their TV shows not at full sale. That's, that's a, a huge change. That's a million dollar word, Harbinger. I love that that's word. That's a good word. Harbinger. I, I learned that before I went to college. It used to be a comic book. It did? Yeah, Valiant. Yeah, I mean, yeah it's that's where I learned that word. Yeah, I mean, wow. This is number one. Big F you to the full sale crowd, right? Hey, I love... This is the thing that kind of bums me out. I love the full sale crowd. The atmosphere at full sale adds so much to the show. They are still so in tuned. Perfect example, when Aleister Black, Velveteen Dream, their reactions to the entirety of that feud, whenever there's something that happens, especially when Velveteen Dream slithered up to Aleister Black and there was a no, an audible <sighs> gasp. It added so much to the show. Really I'm did. not sure that, you know, just some casual fan base, some noobs coming to the, to the TV tapings, are gonna give it that same atmosphere, but proof will be in the pudding. It will be, but I will say that they've uh, taped episodes of NXT at the University of Central it Florida. It was crap. But yeah, it just wasn't the same. It wasn't the same. So I don't know, I don't know. I mean, best case scenario, it'll give every round of tapings a takeover feel maybe, because the takeover crowds are usually really good. They're usually in tune. Yeah. Um, so that's best case, worst case, it's going to be like what you said, the University of Central Florida tapings, which were not good. No, the atmosphere was not good. The crowd didn't seem as into it as normal. Right. Um, but taking the NXT tapings out of full sale, I mean, there's such a tight-knit community. Yeah. Uh, not just amongst the uh, attendees every month at full sale, but it seems even between wrestlers. Yeah. And the audience at NXT. Yeah, for sure. It's, there's a, it really seems like a tight-knit community going on there, and to take the wrestlers out of that community... It's, I don't know if it's going to be the same. Imagine uh, that ceremony they had for Asuka when she uh, vacated the title. Wouldn't be the Just same. wouldn't have been the same. Wouldn't be the same. Because yeah. the, the pe people that go to Full Sail month after month yeah. uh, uh, have such a connection with the wrestlers there yeah. that just the, the, the atmosphere would be completely different. The reaction would be completely different. It wouldn't have been as emotional as it was. It's a bummer. I've always wanted to go to a Full Sail taping. Kind of like here. one of my only regrets last year, or this year at WrestleMania. Was we that we just took around a couple extra days to yeah, do it. We, yeah, we could have done that. Um... But uh, this also uh, brings about another big question. Is this a sign of things to come? Is this the next step in what uh, uh, Paul Levesque, the game Triple H, in what he views NXT as eventually becoming in its final form? Yeah, is this the first step in NXT becoming a full-fledged national touring brand? Yeah. Not quite on par with Raw and SmackDown, but pretty close. Right. I mean, is, is this... The fulfillment of uh, a lot of people's ideas of NXT, that it's WWE's Ring of Honor. Yeah. Is this them doing TV tapings on a regular basis outside of Full Sail? I don't know. They haven't said anything about it. Yeah. Apparently there is still, let's see, where are we? We're, okay, there's still, I would imagine, a couple more. There's one more round of tapings, I believe, I read scheduled at Full Sail on November 29th. It's going to be like when the Kings were almost leaving Sacramento. Remember how everybody was crying and everybody stayed around and the comment, the, the announcer, Grant and what's-his-face, Jerry Reynolds? Yeah. They were both crying. That happened twice here because they almost moved twice. 
they torture us, man. They torture us. Um, so it'll be interesting. I, I would imagine that right now they might be feeling the air sucked out of the room. But once they're there and they're appreciating the fact that this is the last time that it's like full on full sale all the time, it'll probably be a much more emotional thing. They'll probably bring their all to it. Um, but yeah, it, it's a bummer, but it's, it's interesting to see business wise what WWE's next step is with NXT. Yeah. And we're starting to get a picture of it right now. Perhaps. And this could just be kind of a trial balloon. Yeah. A couple set of TV tapings outside of full sale to see how it does. And if the audience isn't the same, maybe they'll backtrack and say, no, we should keep it at full sale for now. I don't know. They haven't released any information as far as I know about the future of NXT yeah. in, ter in terms of the TV taping. So it's kind of a wait and see. We have this huge change has their only indication of what might be happening in the future. It's my favorite hour of TV on wrestling, man. Every week. Yep, NXT, it's good. You know, it's really good stuff. So good. hopefully they don't dig with it too much. Yeah, don't mess with it too much, please. Yeah. Anyways, that's it for now. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Till next time, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.